I personally don't think it's dead at all. I would say if something isn't working, don't just keep doing it in hope that it will carry on working. So tell us a little bit about one of the clients that we've helped with email marketing. Yeah, I think uh, one of the clients that comes to mind would be Audley Wealth, yeah. our finance client. Um, when we first started working with them, they had very little social presence, very little, uh, well, no email outbound mm. um, marketing at all. Um, and so really it was about who's in your database and what do those people need? Yeah. So we quickly realized that within the audiences we had, there were sub audiences, there were people um, looking for retirement advice, um, mm. sort of pension advice. Um, there were people that were looking for more wealth management. Um, and so we made sure we subcategorized those audiences and all the comms we did were anchored yeah. to that. So very quickly we found that by doing it that way, the open rate was really high i mean mm. the average for finance i believe is about 30 percent yeah um and we were getting you know 70 to 75 percent which is great <laughs> really really good for any right? industry really really good yeah. and i think the the content behind it just really pushed that mm. um i think you know it's the standard thing like everything from subject lines they really matter we were using video in the emails we mm. were trying um personalized emails and personalized subject lines mm. and they all uh, attribute to i think the great open rate the great click-through rate mm. um and just an overall great email experience for audley yeah. wealth what would you say the three things that businesses are doing wrong when it comes to email marketing okay three things businesses are doing wrong when it comes to email marketing um number one not personalizing your emails yeah. Um, it's so simple, but there's so much strength in adding even a first name to the mm. subject line within the email. So simple, um, but it really does make the email feel way more personable um, and you're more likely to get a better mm. open rate that way as well. Um, number two, I would say if something isn't working, don't just keep doing it in hope that it will carry on working. Mm. What I mean by that is I noticed that a lot of retailers, especially, they might have a sale on, you know, they might have a set offer and they'll say one day only. And funnily enough, that day lasts two, three weeks, you know, <laughs> um, and that can be, that's relevant across all industries. Yeah. And and number three, not measuring your progress. Yeah. So you should be looking after every email what the click-through rate mm. is, you know, what the bounce rate is, how many people have unsubscribed, what the top um, viewers are of that email, storing all this data, looking at the reports, mm. because that should ultimately form what you're doing next. Yeah. It should never be, email isn't like social in the regards that you shouldn't really be scheduling emails, you shouldn't mm. really be looking too far ahead. Of course, you need a strategy mm. and you need to stick to that. But those variables should come into play and they should dictate which route your strategy goes. It's all down yeah. to the audience. Would you say email marketing is dead? Because a lot of people are saying that it's dead. Would I say email marketing is dead? Okay. Um, I think in the marketing world, there seems to be a trending thing where it's insert deliverable is dead. I think that's become yeah. a bit famous a bit mm. of a, a clickbaity thing um you know there's a lot of people that do it over different social media channels mm. um email is one that comes up a lot though i personally don't think it's dead at all i think you need to make sure that your audience is right for email and the content you're putting together within mm. that email and within those sequences both organic and automated emails is right i think if you're doing email marketing right um, and you've established that there's an audience for it. Obviously, it depends on your industry um, and your audience. Mm. But for instance, if if you have a finance company, like our, our finance client is a really good example mm. of this, um, they have an older audience um, because they're looking at things like wealth management and mm. pensions and things like that. And it's making sure that the content within those emails are informative or, you know, educational or in, within different industries, it might be that they're entertaining. Mm. Um, so it's providing value um, that it's a long term thing, right? Email marketing isn't isn't should never be used as a lead generation mm. tool, just quick in and out, quick yeah. wins. It's a long term thing. It should really offer value. I think it's important to get your strategy right with email marketing. You know, do you want to offer 
your clients a monthly newsletter that's mm. something we find yeah. works really well for our clients mm. um it's a good way to round up all of the content they might have missed obviously as we know like six to seven percent of people see your social posts so email marketing is another great way to hit their mm. inbox more direct more direct exactly that um so yeah no i wouldn't say email marketing's dead at all i think it's all about getting it right making sure you're segmenting your audiences and delivering the information that they need what has been your career highlight so far? Yeah, my career highlight, I think, was quite recently, earlier this year, working for a brand called PE, um, formerly Positive Energy. The career highlight for me was just the sheer ability to pull together so many different mediums in a very quick amount of time. Um, so we worked on a lot of interviews with business owners that in, self, in itself was just really enriching, you know, mm. talking to all these different business owners from different backgrounds and highlighting their needs. Mm. Um, we pulled together a launch video for them that was shown to, you know, over five, 600 people at an event. Yeah. It was just amazing to see all of that hard work on the big screen. Um, but also as part of that launch, we worked on, you know, we worked with charities, we worked with sponsors, seeing those films up there, some really heart-wrenching mm. moments as well with those sponsors and, and charities. Um, so I think, yeah, Positive Energy, PE, um, definitely a career highlight for me. Um, pulling together everything for the film launch, uh, the website launch, yeah. uh, all just a, across, um, you know, an omni-channel experience with their marketing and mm. being involved in every aspect of it at every stage, um, both brand and marketing playing a huge mm. part was just, yeah, great for me. 